Eagle fan, Spoken for Communications brings you this preview of North Carolina Central and Elon as the two programs meet for the 12th time in program history. I'm Chris Hooks, play-by-play -play voice of the NCCU Sports Network, joined alongside the head coach of the Eagles in his second season, Henry Fraser III. All right, Coach, congratulations on your win, your first win at home in front of the Maroon and Gray Faithful last week against Fayetteville State. Final score, 54-31. to just your overall thoughts of that ball game and how it can help you into transitioning into this one against Elon. Well, I thought um, I thought the um, student athletes played extremely hard. You know, they didn't they didn't quit. They didn't. You know, we had one little letdown, but they they actually gave maximum effort on every single football play. And uh, they, you know, it was a, a lot of scoring going on. You know, exciting for the fans. But um, you know, we started off a little slow, and once we settled down at halftime, didn't make any adjustments. We just kind of say, hey guys, we okay, just settle down. You know, let's reduce the penalties and let's just run around. And, and, um, and we came out in the third quarter, I thought, and kind of put the ball game away and, and then finished them off in the fourth quarter. So I, I was proud of those efforts. Talk about, you want to talk about momentum shifters. Alante Tupp and 60 plus yard interception return for a touchdown. You want to talk about someone that I was surprised, first of all, that he jumped on the route like he did, but for him to get around that edge and, and score the touchdown. I didn't know, A, he had that much speed because hey, we haven't seen him ha have to make plays like that, but it was a big one, and, and it certainly helped us get the win. It was. It was because the defense was saying in the locker room, we're going to go three and out, coach. We're going to go three and out, guys. In offense, you're going to get the ball back and score. But for them to get a turnover and score right like that, you know, that was really the shot in the arm that we needed. And then the offense got the ball and went down and scored. And, 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 and anyone can make a play. You know, we just looking for someone – to shift that momentum and you know we just always say hey you be that guy that's going to step up and make a play in and Alante uh, made the play and I'm definitely proud of him. And that that just goes to show you in college football you make a play like that it adds to another one and another one and it snowballs against the other team. Yeah momentum is you know especially in college football it, 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 it's monumental you know when and they call it that mo and that mo switch that momentum switch you just never know it, it's hard to stop it. And, and, and once you get that momentum on your side, I mean, you know, it, you know, you can actually take off and win a ball game off momentum alone, you know, because you're talking about three, four plays can make the difference, and that could be, you know, a couple of scores. Matt Goggins, assess his first game uh, as the starting quarterback, and, and where can he grow? Uh, it was solid. It was solid. I would give Matt a B. Um, you know, I thought Matt took care of the football, number one, and he made some really good decisions with the football, and I think – you know, he, um, you know, those couple of bombs in the beginning, he had some long, long passes that he overthrew receivers that was wide open. Because if he, he connects on those, at least two or three of those, you know, Matt's over 300 yards and he's probably close to 70% passing and, and about three or four touchdowns. And then, it's, you know, it's a different conversation. So, you know, now he, just, you know he settled down and, and he, he commanded the offense and he, and he had a really solid football game. So I'm hoping, you know, Matt will get better this week. You know, he got that first start out of the way and, and uh, you know, we'll, we'll come game plan and, and uh, get ready for Elon. One of his top receivers, Giovanni Irvine, needs one yard to join the 2,000-yard club here at North Carolina Central. He'll be the sixth person, a sixth receiver to do that uh, in that category. Um, and that only highlights uh, how talented and how special he's been here at NCCU. Wow, I didn't know that. that that's, that's awesome. Um, you know, he is a, he's a special talent. You know, I really you know, have and am enjoying coaching this young man and and uh, he has at least 10 more football games with me. And, and I just, you know, if, if Saturday night was any indication, this season is going to be very special for Giovanni and our football program. So so I think the world loves him. Um, he, again, he's a special talent. And I sure am glad he's on our team. Defensively, your front four certainly looked impressive at times against Fayetteville State. They're going to be facing a a much more talented squad as far as Elon is concerned. Um, just for them, the key is just to continue to get penetration upfield? No question. Uh, we we got to have to get pressure, you know, on, on, on Elon because if not, you know, they, they're going to throw the ball 30 to 40 times. And if, if we, we're unable to get pressure on, on Wilson, he's going to sit back and he'll, he'll pick us apart. So we got to get him on the go. We can't let him get comfortable in the pocket. And, and, uh, and we have to play aggressive in terms of jumping routes to short routes, a three-game pass, because you're not going to sack a quarterback on a three-step game. You're just not going to get there. It's pretty much impossible unless he fumbles a snap. 
So we, we, we're going to have to jump those routes and take some chances as defensive backs and safeties. And, and you know, we're going to have to gamble a little bit. And then buzz, and, and when they do complete them, we got to rally and make tackles. I think if we do those things and, and mix up some of our, our stunts up front and and, and, and we, we'll be fine against them. But it will, but we, we got to force the tempo on from a defensive standpoint and not sit back and just let them dictate to us. We can't do that. You know, I would, I would be remiss if I didn't mention Aaron Millette in this interview um, as we preview Elon and, and North Carolina Central. Millette, super talent. He'll be in the NFL. Uh, he'll certainly get drafted. Now, what kind of career he has is certainly up to him. But uh, slowing him down certainly has to be a key. But just not letting him dominate is, is something you, you're trying to make sure. <laughs> yeah, not like last year. Last year, I mean, he had a career game against us. I want to say he had 17 catches. You know, I mean, he just – he started off, he had 10 against Vanderbilt, 17 against us. I mean, he started the season on a tear with 27 catches in two games. So, so um, you know, we'll, we we got to come up with some some brackets, some, some different things and take our gambles with him because we don't want to get him going. Because, you know, because it, it can, like we talked about that momentum earlier, you know, he gets going and then it, it, it can be a long day for us. So, but we can't ignore the other receiver, the other senior on the other side and, you know, with the senior quarterback. So, so those guys are all veterans. They're all seniors. So, you know, you know the key is going to be for us to get pressure. Final question, this is your first of five straight on the road, and winning on the road is tough in college football. Um, just the focus of the team coming in, just play their normal game, and they should be just fine in a tough environment? Oh, yeah. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll treat it the same as we always do. And, and But the, 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 the luxury of this particular road game is that, um, you know, we're going to treat it as going to be just like a home game in terms of, you know, eating in our own cafeteria. We're going to stay in the home hotel that we stay in for our home games. So, so we'll do things the same, and uh, and then we'll take our 30 to 40 minute ride, however long it is, right down to Burlington, and and get ready for um for, for to go out to Elon on Saturday night. All right, coach. Thanks for your time. Best of luck this week, and we'll talk to you as uh, uh, the week progresses. No problem. Thank you. As head coach Henry Fraser the third, spoken for communications, brings you this preview of North Carolina Central and Elon. Enjoy the ball game, everybody.